February 22nd, 2022. Habcast 246, episode 246. Let's go. Of course, I have a few things to share with you guys. An evening of reflection. Shall we? Martell Williams offered McDonald's by police in exchange for confession. So when your badge is up for review, you could tell them you've seen it on 48 hours. The family of a 15-year-old boy are demanding an apology after the teenager was wrongly arrested and allegedly offered McDonald's in exchange for confession. Martell Williams A freshman at Waukegan High School in Waukegan, Illinois, was abruptly pulled out of class last Wednesday. You do not, you don't have to be in law enforcement to know that they are not allowed to question a minor without a parent or a legal guardian present. Once I reached the office, there were two officers there. So two officers signed off on this shit, not just one going solo. He said, according to WGN TV, as soon as I got in, they didn't tell me nothing. They just said you're under arrest. The teenager, who is black, was charged with attempted murder and aggravated battery in connection with the February 4th shooting at a dollar store. The Waukegan Police Department had released photos of the person suspected of shooting an employee in the face. The officer said that multiple people came to him and said that it was me, Williams said during a news conference in front of the department on Monday. His attorney, Kevin O'Connor said detectives had immediately started working to elicit a confession from the teenager. They tried to bribe him with McDonald's saying, look, just tell us you were there. O'Connor said, according to WGN TV, they don't even tell him about a shooting. Just tell us you were there and we'll have you home in 10 minutes. Williams subsequently spent two nights in the Lake County Juvenile Detention Center. This is the second night in a row we've had an article of a minor being detained with no solid evidence, but he was let go after his family proved that he was nowhere near the dollar store in Waukegan when the shooting occurred. They provided a timestamp photo proving Williams was playing in a high school basketball game in Lincolnshire at the time. The charges against Williams were dropped and his record has been expunged according to the radio station WLS. But at the news conference, his attorney called for a public apology from the police department. This is a continuing and ongoing problem, O'Connor said. (laughs) Cut the check. Cut the goddamn check. At this time, the city has no further comment on this issue. The shooting incident from February 4th, 2022, remains an open an active case. Lake County State's Attorney Eric Reinhardt told WGN-TV that his office was very concerned by the arrest. I would be very concerned too because your officers are doing very shitty police work detaining a minor that wasn't even at the scene of the crime. Shit, your shooter was probably at the McDonald's when you went to go get the McDonald's. Oh, because we're not done with McDonald's. They've just been catching a shit ton of shrapnel lately. <laughs> Man told four-year-old son to fire at police over a McDonald's dispute. <laughs> it just so happens this is where the problems congregate. What you want me to do? A man was arrested after allegedly ordering his four-year-old son to fire a gun at police officers in a McDonald's drive through following a dispute that began over an incorrect order. This has to be one of the biggest cowards in American history for attempting to use his child as both a weapon and a shield. An officer was able to push the gun away as it was fired, directing the bullet away from bystanders at the suburban Salt Lake City, Utah, fast food chain. (laughs) The unnamed man reportedly displayed the firearm at employees after receiving an incorrect order around 1.30 p.m. Monday, the Unified Police Department of Greater Salt Lake said in a statement, drive through workers then asked the man to pull forward to a waiting area while they corrected his order. As he did, 
they called the police. <laughs> Great awareness by those McDonald's employees for already knowing this guy was going to be a different type of problem. When officers arrived, they asked the man several times to exit the vehicle, but he refused to cooperate, police said. Officers then opened the vehicle's door and pulled the man out of the car. While taking the father into custody, an officer turned back to the vehicle and saw a gun pointing out the rear window. The officer quickly alerted others, and an officer was able to swipe the gun to the side as a round was fired from the weapon. This could have went bad if these cops wouldn't have immediately noticed that there were children in the back seat and not just an adult trying to shoot at them. The father had reportedly instructed the child to fire the gun at police, officials learned during their investigation into the matter. The man was still in custody. As of Monday, one officer had a minor injury to his arm, but no one else was injured in the incident. Salt Lake County Sheriff Rosie Rivera called the incident a sad day for law enforcement and our community in a statement Monday. To have an adult think it's okay to encourage a four-year-old to pull a firearm and shoot at police illustrates how out of hand the campaign against police has gotten, Rivera said. Not only was this a stupid and hilariously cowardly thing to do, <laughs> you're also going to have Child Protective Services looking into your ability to raise those kids. So I hope it was worth it. Man suffers horrific fate after eating spoiled leftovers. <laughs> and properly stored leftovers can give you food poisoning or much worse, as one college student recently found out. A lot of you don't know this, but in late 2020, early 2021, I was hospitalized for about a week after I ate some Chinese food that closed up my throat. I had to have a tube shoved down my throat and that's when i was introduced to the medical use of our pal fentanyl <laughs> but i said that to say that food poisoning is very real and a lot of times it's just you throwing up or going to the bathroom but sometimes it, it can result in something far worse a massachusetts teen who was healthy overall ate leftover rice chicken and lo mein that's what i had that was no longer safe and experienced complications so bad that he had to have his legs and fingers amputated the illness which was originally reported in the new england journal of medicine progressed rapidly and included a stiff neck rapid heartbeat shock and multiple organ failure the diagnosis purpura fulminans a complication triggered by meningococcal sepsis the teen had gotten the first dose of the meningococcal vaccine but not the recommended booster his roommate ate the same leftovers and only vomited before getting better some of us get lucky uh, the extreme case is a stark reminder to brush up on food safety guidelines the u.s department of health and human services recommends throwing away leftovers after only three or four days this case it had only been like a few hours maybe a day tops with me if they've been properly stored that means refrigerating leftovers as soon as you get them home and if they're at room temperature longer than two hours it's time to toss them the goal should always be to avoid the danger zone or temperatures between 40 and 140 degrees fahrenheit that's when microorganisms that can make you seriously ill, including botulism and salmonella, grow best. Check the temperature of your refrigerator and freezer, follow storage directions on labels, and use ready-to-eat food as soon as possible to keep everyone in your house healthy. This article reached out to me not only because of my own personal experience, but because we all do it, and we all do it often. So just be careful. NYPD detective charged with drunken driving after reporting his car stolen. <laughs> if I don't drink and drive, how the hell am I going to get to the crime scene? An NYPD detective talked himself into a drunken driving arrest that fast New York City talk after he reported his car stolen and responding officers determined he was driving while intoxicated. Cop sources said Detective Edgar Guerrero 
30 called to report his Honda Accord stolen on Dykeman Street near Nagel Ave in Washington Heights early Monday. He appeared drunk when police arrived, sources said. Can you imagine the officers telling him, like, well, you're the detective. What you want us to do when we file a report? It's going to land on your desk anyway because you're the fucking detective. Goretto told the officers he was getting food when his car was stolen. Police never recovered the accord, sources said, but the officers determined Guerrero had driven while drunk. Cops charged him about 5 a.m. with driving under the influence, driving while ability impaired, and refusing to take a blood alcohol. <laughs> he awaits arraignment in Manhattan Criminal Court. Fun show. Fun show. Fun show. That being said, I'm going to wrap this one up, but I'll be sure to talk to you guys very, very soon. Adios.